Hi everybody, this is Pokemon Academy here with another battle video. Um, this time I made a team based on Team Rocket. I got Arbok, Weezing, Victory Bell, Meowth, uh, Wobbuffet, and Lickitung. I tried to use it against some of the more common, um, commonly used VGC tier Pokemon out there. Um, at first it was pretty shaky. Uh, a lot of these things are not as powerful as they could be. But, um, well, you'll see for yourself. We'll, we'll get to the first battle right now. Uh, I led Meowth and Victory Bell. Meowth actually gets Fake Out, which is kind of usable. Uh, mine is the fact that his attack stat is like 6 before Intimidate. So um, this Fake Out's not going to do anything. We're, I knew he was faster than me. He's going to Fake Out. He actually also learns Hypnosis. I had fired off uh, both Sleep Powder and Hypnosis on a Tyranitar, figuring this Hypnotop really can't do anything except kill Meowth. And he's probably better off dead anyway. Um... <laughs> Surprisingly, he's pretty fast um, for a non-evolved. I, I didn't give him Eviolite since it's on my Lickitung. Uh, but with both things sleeping, I have free reign to start setting up with Victory Bell here. Not something you see very often in VGC, minus like the, the occasional scissor with Swords Dance. Um, but I use U-Turn to get me off out of there, do a whopping 5%. Send in my Arbok. This thing, it's, it's terrible. I went after the Tyranitar trying to kill it. Um, that Metagross switching was pretty good. I guess I didn't go for the Swords Dance. I guess I Swords Dance a different game. That's okay. Arbok's got Ground Gem and Earthquake. Um, it's also got Glare for the Paralysis and Coil. <laughs> if you've seen my earlier video, that's pretty much all it does. And Arbok and Weezing are a pretty cool pair because it's got the Levitate, so you can, you can Earthquake spam. Of course, my Ground Gem Earthquake does less to that Metagross than his regular Earthquake does to my Arbok, even though they're both super affected by it. That's probably why nobody uses Arbok. Figure Arbok's going to die. Latios is going to pick it off before it gets a chance to kill Metagross. So I go for the Sucker Punch, because who knows that Arbok runs Sucker Punch. And Weezing takes that Meteor Mash kind of well. I go for the Burn, thinking, okay, get some res residual damage on here. And I'm looking at this Latios, and he pretty much will one-shot everything on my team right now. Um, I go for the Fake Out and Sludge Bomb to kill it. This Protect it was fairly obvious, but I, I wanted to play it safe. Thankfully, that Meteor Mash missed. It'll give me enough time to kill this Latios, because um, Meowth certainly isn't going to. Um, he goes, kills the Meowth. Mm, don't know why. My U-turn wasn't going to kill it. Maybe he thought I had something else up my sleeve. Maybe, maybe my U-turn would have killed it. I don't know. I don't really test out those damage calcs on Meowth all the time. And we clear the field on this turn, which leaves my Victory Bell to come in against his Hitmontop and Tyranitar, which thankfully are both asleep. Now, since they just switched in, the sleep a counter is reset, so I know they have at least one turn of sleep. And I knew that my old Leaf Blade at 60 set, um, you know, minus one attack, didn't kill that Tyranitar, didn't do half. So I had to go Swords Dance. And now what I'm going to do is I know I outrun that Tyranitar. That Hemontop can't do anything. I'm going to kill the Tyranitar. Hemontop still asleep. Fantastic. Pretty much all is left. Just one more click. Finish it off with another Leaf Blade. Boom. And that is how Team Rocket takes out the trash. Actually, it was a very good game. He's a good player. Very good team. Kind of gets surprised with a couple of those Hypnosis and Sleep Powder routine in the front. But, uh... So then here's our next battle. Same lead. Pretty much the most usable lead uh, after a lot of trial and error. It's pretty much what you, you, you find out. That's pretty much what you got to do. <laughs> Meowth's pretty much there. Okay, great. At half attack. Yeah. So he's going to go for a double protect to burn my fake out. Obviously very experienced with uh, Meowth's. Um, and my sleep powder is not going to do anything because he's protecting. Goes for the U-turn. Victory Bell's kind of a tank. Kind of surprised me how well it's taken these hits. Um, I go for the Hypnosis. Miss, because yes, Hypnosis got terrible accuracy. However, Sleep Powder hits them a champ on the switch in, and Double Edge will finish off my Victory Bell. So I am down with just one Machamp asleep. Uh, at least I get the Intimidate off with my Arbok. That's pretty much all he's good for, too. But I don't really remember what I do here. Okay, I go for the Hypnosis, of course. That's all Meowth does. Oh, yeah, start coiling up, get that defense, get that attack, and that accuracy, even though I'm using all 100% accurate moves. Miss the Hypnosis again, which probably is about right, because it's only 60% accuracy. I figure Machamp's asleep, why not keep going? Just keep coiling for days, because I don't do any damage otherwise. 
Hypnosis, uh, of course, that protect was obvious, and I earthquake my own Meowth, because it kind of sucks anyway. Uh, hoping the, I'm hoping to get rid of this Machamp before he wakes up. Uh, Meowth's at 1 HP. I know it outspeeds Gyarados. I figure one more uh, Hypnosis might hit, but the Bullet Punch comes out. Surprises me. I don't see a lot of Machamp out here. Um, that's okay, because I was going to Gunk Shot Machamp. Okay, never mind. It would have been cool to have Meowth around still. He's going to intimidate, bring my Arbok back down to um, one and a half attacks. It's just plus one. We got Weezing out here, minus attack. I got that explosion normal gem in the back pocket, but he sends out Scissor, so I don't really want to do that. Gunk Shot finishes off Gyarados. What? Did not know it had that kind of power, and thank God that Will-O-Wisp hits. So now we got just these tits, two on two. Here comes another intimidate, so Arbok's back to being useless, and Weezing is more useless than normal. Bullet Punch will thankfully leave me alive. Um, we got that that burns really, really important. I figured Sucker Punch, I, th I thought he was going to kill me. I figured get some damage on it, try to burn it, and then stall out with Weezing, because Weezing's got some good defenses there. Um, I'm going to try for an Earthquake, knowing that I can fly. And yeah. Or that was his Earthquake. I was going to Earthquake too. It doesn't matter. I got the burn. Okay. I have no recovery on Weezing. I basically have to sit here and try to take abuse for three turns in order to win this match. And so far it's going all right. He's got that bug bite and he's got that stone edge, but I was like, Weezing's pretty, pretty pimp. I see I only does 17, I'm looking at it, I'm like, yes. Bug gem activates, I'm losing health rapidly. Going for the sludge bomb. Not looking fantastic, it's looking pretty medium. Depends on how these next turns roll out. Yeah, of course I protect. Of course, knowing that this guy's gonna swords dance with his scissor. Fantastic. So now I gotta stall out maybe three more turns. I go, I, I, I stupidly misclick and I gunk shot the scissor right now, which is completely immune to poison. Please guys, do not use poison moves against steel types like that. Um, but I'm thinking, oh man, maybe, maybe if I just protect, maybe that burn will kill. Especially the scissor. I know that lander ain't gonna do anything. Oh, and now he's at the plus three. And I'm thinking, oh god. Oh god, it's still alive at 2% and 11%. I just gotta hit this protect. Nope. That 50% thing didn't work. But the Stone Edge missed! And Bug Bite leaves me with 2%. And I get to sit and watch as they burn to death. So guys, this has been... This has been a Team Rocket style battle. Um, it took... It took some research to figure out what moves would actually work on these guys. I'm thinking in the future, Weezing... Is going to need some kind of fire move. I've already got Sunny Day on Meowth. Don't ask. That's pretty much what he had left to him. Um, but, you know, with some fire, you can you can take out these steel types. It's pretty bit tanky. I mean, the biggest problem you run into is psychic types kind of super affect your whole team. Wobbuffet's trash. Uh, Lickitung's pretty bulky with Eviolite. So, but yeah, other than that. Um, besides that, this has been, yeah, another battle video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll have more in the future. If you guys have any suggestions, um, please let us know. I know I've got a Team Rocket versus Team Rocket. My friend thought he could build a better Team Rocket team than I did, so we got to battle for a grunt status. I'll upload that later. But other than that, please subscribe, guys. Uh, comment on what you think you want to see in the future, and uh, good luck training.